Hey, welcome to Trucks and Tractors. Today, I'm gonna go hunting for some patina. I'm gonna show you how to take uh, probably $10 worth of materials and find some cool patina. So what got all this started was this weather stripping going all around all the windows is like super faded and so I thought you know what I'm gonna try and clean that up. So I took some scotch bright and I started rubbing up and down it and, and it started turning nice and like shiny black like it should be. Come to find out um, the perfection in me nicked the paint a little bit when I was rubbing it down over here. And then I found look at look at this beautiful blue right here. So I found that and then I stopped and I was like, all right, the entire truck might be that way. I'm a little concerned that we don't have enough paint like underneath the primer. All right, so I just got with me a little bucket of water and some 320 wet sand sandpaper. I'm a little concerned that there's not enough paint on this roof now that I'm doing this. I think I just gotta be really gentle and try and, and get to where we can leave the blue. Cause that's what I'm going for is I wanna see the blue. If not, well then we'll be doing another video on me painting a truck. So, it looks to me right here, I'm guessing I went too far right here. I'm guessing this is bare metal. Um, here, I can confirm that by rubbing a little further. If it's bare metal, it's bare metal. Oh, no. Maybe that's a primer. See, this is where we just gotta figure out how deep to go. So, what I think we got is we got bare metal, we got a light gray primer. Oh, yep, we got a light gray primer, bare metal, light gray primer, blue, dark gray primer, and then this primer over here that you see. So I'm just gonna try and expose as much of the blue without going too far. But I don't think I can emphasize it enough that you really gotta go light, cause this is thin paint. And it's, I'm guessing it was pretty thin before whoever covered it up with this rattle can primer. But ideally I want to find as much blue as I can. Because if you look at it, I'm, lo I'm looking for that blue. That's what I'm going for is the blue. So, I think the roof's gonna be, the roof and the hood are probably gonna be the worst as far as thin, the thinness of the paint. Cause it's had the harshest sun hitting it. Man, I've never been so gentle in my life. Yeah, she's uh, she's some thin paint. So I'm a big fan of the patina. I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay if it doesn't look great. I mean, not great. I'm okay if it doesn't look perfect. I don't want it all to be one color. I want it to be weathered. Um, I'm a, I'm a really big fan of the patina. You know, I think it's looking good. You know, it's really, it's really hit or miss, but I think it's looking good. Oh, that was my shoe. So I think, I don't know. What do you think? I think that looks pretty good. Uh -huh. You know, I'm not going for perfection here. But if I just kind of open up some more of that blue. Yeah, if I just lightly hit this stuff and leave the blue underneath. See, there's no blue under this. This is, this is all too thin, so I think we'll leave some of that black in there.
All right, I got my bucket of water and my 320 uh, grit wet sandpaper. And we're gonna see what we can make this thing look like. Um, well, I mean, it's, it's got color. Still undecided if this was a good idea or not. Dawn says she doesn't think it could get any worse, so I guess if that's what we're up against, then, then yeah, this was a great idea. It's a peculiar look, isn't it? It's not looking at all like what I had thought, but I'm gonna keep going because you know what? I'm kind of committed. Oh no, I didn't expect this. I think the bottom of this truck was a different color. Oh, I want you to all be the same color blue. Oh man. Well, you guys all thought this was going really well. It just changed. That's not what I was hoping for. I don't really know what to do right now. So we all see what the box looks like, right? Primer gray. Start sanding on it, we find a gold box. And then you keep sanding more, we get back to the same blue that's on the cab. But you got one, two, three, four layers to get through to get to the blue. I'm glad that it's not red under all this. But, uh, but yeah, so I got four layers to go through on the box. <laughs> All for what? What are we trying to do again? <laughs> Make it look cool. All right for free. Yep, that's right. <laughs> Man, never in a million years would I have guessed I uh, taking scotch for it to the body of my truck. Never, ever would I have guessed that uh, I would have suggested that. In case anybody's wondering, I switched to Scotch Bright because I was running out of arm strength. So you did all this by hand? Well, that was the original plan, but. I think I'm gonna need to get a sander because I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it. I need a break. Hey, remember when I said at least there's no red beneath this box here? You remember this? So as some of you could have guessed in earlier, there is red here. So this took quite some time to sand by hand down to this. This gold is some strong paint. These other ones, not so much. But the gold, that was a tough one to get through. So I gotta take a DA to it with probably 320 and 400 grit on that. If I wanna strip the entire side of the truck. Uh, so do you guys think this is looking good or not good? So, when I saw the roof, I thought, cool. 
I can make that look good. And then when I saw this, I thought, all right, we're looking good. Then we, uh, we, we exposed this fender and uh, my optimism started to fade. Uh, well, let's be honest. I don't know that this is one of my best ideas I've ever had. Uh, in theory, I think it was, it was good in theory, but I had to do this to know. Uh, my dad came over and he hadn't seen the truck at all yet and I said, so what are you thinking? You could tell he was trying to be nice. Then I sent it to my siblings who are all girls, who have been hearing about my car stuff my, their whole lives. My one sister uh, wanted to know, was I meaning for it to look ghetto or, <laughs> or I don't know. So basically the consensus of them is it does not look better. Don did say from the get-go that it couldn't get any worse, right? What do you think now, Don? It maybe got a little bit worse. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let me know what you think of uh, my DIY patina. <laughs> Can't show up to clean the cars like this. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.